Hi, welcome to Fish. First I see Kim, and my name is Linda. So I'm out here today. It was just a beautiful day, so I did some filming outside. So I don't really have a topic, right? I don't have a topic today. I just want to talk to you. Can we talk? I just want to explain a little bit of fish and some of the things that are going on with fish and some of the comments that have been made over the past couple of years and I just kind of want to put them out there just you know just so you know so for one I get a lot will you look down at your paper why are you look at your paper why are you reading off a of paper well I kept this sermon it was just from the previous video I did. It's called Seven Reasons Why Christians Shouldn't Tithe. So, here we go. This is all handwritten. All my sermons are handwritten. And the pages are circled with the number inside. Now, I have tried many times, especially in the beginning, to make my life easier typing it on the computer. But it doesn't work. And my friend, well, my girlfriend said a really good thing. She said, you know, Linda, it's just God wants a hand in it. He wants your hand on the paper. He wants to write it. And that's how it's been ever since. I write what he says. It's down on the paper. I can't memorize it. I don't have a memory like that. Having things like this, even for the minute message, which is only three pages, Okay, and I like to think the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I have those three pages because it's under a minute, and it keeps me on track. It's kind of like a musician with the song in front of him, the notes. It just keeps the rhythm going. I keep the rhythm going. So I have to have the paper with me. It keeps me organized. It keeps me on track with the topic that God has given um, because it is God's word, it's not my word. I pray before each message that his word be heard, that you hear him, you see him, and you want to know him better. That's the main focus here. It's about Jesus. It's about knowing him and understanding him and getting closer to him in your relationship with him. It's not about tradition. It's not about ceremony. It's not about you know, condemning or judging. It, it, I do have topics on that, but this is the basis. This is the foundation of fish. It's is to make sure that you receive God's word here for free. I use all my own money. I don't have an agenda. I am not here to write a book and then sell it to you. I am not going to go across country speaking and charging $195 for you to come to the conference and then get a kickback from all the hotels and all that other stuff. This is it. You go on the website, it's free. You go on Facebook, it's free. You go on Instagram, it's free. You go on Twitter, it's free. I use all my own money to sponsor my commercials, to sponsor all my videos, to to up keep my website and to you know everyone else behind the scenes I pay for it I work for it I work for my money just like all the apostles did they worked they didn't expect handouts or for people to support them and I don't expect that either this to me is my job that this is my divine assignment and I take it seriously I really do but I didn't always I did not always take this seriously. I ran a few times, just like Jonah, you know? I, I knew the responsibility that was ahead of me, and I was like, Ugh. But you know, when God chooses you, when he talks to you, some of us do run. And you know, God is a gentleman. If we keep refusing him, he's gonna honor that request. And then what? Then you realize someday, like, now what do I do? Right? Now what do you do? And um, I, uh, I ran twice. I guess you could say third time's a charm. And I realized that this is what 
this, I really wanted this. You know, I wanted to serve God this way. I was so thankful for my life and so many things in my life. I've, I've had some hardships in my life, and, and he's gotten me through them, you know. And um, I know I can never make up for all that he has done for me, you know, my salvation and love. And, but I serve him, and there's nothing else like it in this world. There isn't. The way I was, I died to old self, and here I am. And, um, you know, I'm not going to stop. And everybody has their own walk with Jesus. We really do. And this is just my walk. And I present it to you, and, you know, I don't like it because I know it's from God, from the very obvious of Him talking to me and everything else. It's all the things that I am so bad at. I don't like being photographed. Ever since I was a kid, I can remember I hated the camera. Never mind about videos, that's even worse. That's like photos on steroids. Now there's movement and action, it's just like, no. And then social media, I never did. Never, until fish. And that was like another yucky thing. And then building a website, oh joy, endless joy. Like I can't even do email. And I had to learn how to build a website. So for me, personally speaking, when God is talking to me and he wants me to do something, it's all the things that I'm not good at, not capable, have no idea of what I'm doing. And it's because he comes in and it's his glory. He is glorified. I'm weak, and the only time I have strength is through him. That's it. That is it. There's no way I could do this on my own. And you know what? I did try it. I did. And this is my problem. Okay, this is, this is how, like, okay, I got it from here, God. You know what? I can do this. I, you started me off, but, you know, I got it from here. I got it from here. So I had one day, I set up everything, and believe me, setting up the camera and all this stuff. Again, makeup, I don't like wearing makeup, but anyway, getting everything ready takes a while, and it's, it's an art form. And I didn't pray before the message. I didn't. I didn't pray on each message, and I had about six to do that day. And guess what? Fail. It was a total I couldn't even get through one video. And it's because I didn't pray. I didn't have God in. Here I am, like, oh, you know, my ego, my pride. I got this. You know, I can do your word without you, God. And I'm like, what? What? I'm going to talk about God and I'm not going to include him? Well, girl, what are you thinking? So I had to shut down everything that day. I definitely had my tail between my legs and I asked for forgiveness. And the next day I set up again. I prayed over each message after praying a lot before because I realized how ridiculous I am. And it went off beautifully. And prayer for me on each message keeps me focused on him and the writing keeps me focused on the topic I have a little office that I write in and it has a big window and I face the window when I write and on the other side of the window so many times comes a dove and the dove sits on the windowsill and I can't tell you how happy that makes me because I know the Holy Spirit is there everything is led by the Holy Spirit and I just see that little dove sit there, and I know it's good. I know God is good. He is always good. So for those, you know, that have been watching Fish for a while, I want to say thank you. I really do. I want to say thank you. All your triumphs and your hardships and everything, I do pray for you. I do. It's a lot to do, but I, I don't care. I mean... I don't care in a good sense. Like, I don't care how much it's going to be required to do that. I will do it. I may not always pray every day or every night, but you are in my prayers every week. You are, and when you have breakthrough and when you have pain, I'm there. 
it means a lot to me because we're all in the body of Christ here. We are. And for me not to feel this with you, then I'm a hypocrite. Then I'm just a hypocrite. I do my best to answer each comment. And some people are really highlighted to me, even when they have like the most ridiculous, nasty comments. Because those people will privately message me and we will talk. And then we end up praying together and they start following fish. Meaning follow Jesus. Because that's the whole goal here. Follow Jesus. Just follow Jesus. Read his word. Follow him. Hear him. See him. You know, and come to him. Acknowledge him as your Lord and Savior. And die, you know, just die to self and have a beautiful, wonderful life with him. It's not going to be easy, but it is going to be absolutely incredible. And not in the sense of like, you know, the feel-good gospel. I don't mean that. I mean like the challenges ahead and, and the, the learning and the growth and the strength and the pain and the wildness and the rawness and the danger out of, it, of it all. It really is. I can't explain to you like how uncensored God is. You know, we're in this age of political correctness, but God is just so massive in the power and the authority. It is like nothing else in this world. And it's so important for you to make this decision where you're going to spend the rest of your life, meaning your afterlife, because that is going to be your life. Eternity is huge. Here and now is just a vapor. We're just a vapor. It's just not even this compared to eternity. So where are you going to spend your, your afterlife, your eternity? Everybody has to make that decision sooner or later. You know, you may want to start thinking about it. So, you know, I too, I am, I am your sister in Christ. I am, that's, that's who I am. I am your sister in Christ. I am here to give the word of God. I'm here to share the message. I'm here, if you want to contact me, I will listen. I may not always have the answer. I really don't. I really don't, but I will always be there. And I will do my best. You know, um, it means a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. To have every person watch is really, it's very joyful. It really is. It's very joyful. It's very, I'm very thankful. I, I truly am. I am very thankful. I am, um, I can't think of any other way, any other better way to spend my money and my time and my love and everything that I am it may not be much but I am I'm very grateful that I have this opportunity to serve you this way and so from from me to you here at fish thank you God bless you always may he keep you under his wing may he keep you and your family in good health and mind body and soul well, that's it for fish. First I seek him. My name is Linda. And until next time.